Now, on this channel, we have looked at some insane cars, but today's car is leaps ahead of its competition, and it's the fastest accelerating car in the world. Now, this car is electric, and it has enough torque to pull a continent. This is the new Rimac Nevera. So what powers the fastest accelerated production car of all time? Well, it's an all-electric supercar, or actually hypercar. It has four electric motors, one at each wheel. And together, these four motors will produce a measly 1,914 horsepower. And for torque, well, the Nevera makes 2,360 newton meters of torque. And remember, it's an electric, and electric torque is instant, so there is no power curve, which equates to a car that can do 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds. But that isn't even the craziest of the figures. The car goes from 0 to 186 miles per hour, or 300 kilometers per hour, in 9.3 seconds. In other words, it can reach 300 kilometers an hour in the same time your average car will reach 100. That's insane. Now, if the car can reach 300 in just 9 seconds, I'm guessing you know that it's going to have a crazy fast quarter mile time. And yes, it is technically the fastest production car over a quarter mile. And on an unprepped surface, this thing completes a quarter mile in 8.62 seconds. And if you want to see it do that, Car Wow did a video where the Romac practically toys with the SF90 Ferrari. And that's a thousand horsepower hybrid hypercar. Oh, and top speed, she can reach 258 miles per hour. This car is mind destroyingly fast. Just look at what happens when you put your foot down. Three, two, one, go. That's even madder than the launch. I let him go a bit just because I could, but that is just crazy. Here he is now, here he is. No, you don't. Okay, but enough about speed. There is more to cars than speed, or so they say. So, for the few that care about range, their interior, and, and all the other irrelevant stuff, here you go. So, range. The Remac is fitted with a 120 kilowatt hour battery, and they claim that it can get 340 miles on a charge, if you don't drive like a hooligan. Because that's why you're gonna buy the car to go on Sunday strolls. But here's something pretty insane. The Nevera charges at 500 kilowatts, which is far higher than any other electric car. This means you can charge the Remac from 0 to 80% in just 19 minutes, if you use a strong enough charger. Moving to the interior, the Nevera features a trio of high definition TFT displays and tactile rotary controls, machined from billet aluminium. This gives the car more of an analog feel. And in my opinion, the interior is really nice. It's not too much. It looks expensive and futuristic, but not so in your face that it might distract you from the thing that is important in this car, the powertrain. Now, do some cool features and electronics. The Nevera will feature a torque vectoring system between all four wheels, which basically means the car can send power to whatever wheel it feels needs it most for the current situation. The car has electronic controlled dampers and an active ride height adjustment and Rima claims that the car is ultra agile for a car that weighs just over 2 tons. The car will also feature a drift mode where it will send a lot of the power to the rear wheels only. This feature will make the car more valuable in the long run, in my opinion. Not because people will like it more, but because more of the cars will end up in trees and against buildings. And then lastly, Rimac is busy working on a form of autonomous driving, which they call AI Driver Coach. Now this system won't just be for trips on the highway. The driver coach will literally coach the owners of the Rimac on a racetrack. Using cameras and sensors, it will find the best driving line and display it, as well as the braking points in real time. Now how much for all of this goodness? Well, the Rimac will be sold at 2.44 million, so it is really expensive. But what do you expect? Do you like it? And um, how, how do you think anybody's going to compete with it? I mean, 2,000 horsepower and 2,500 newton meters of torque. That's just insane. The companies are really going to have to take a step up to just come close to this thing. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And go check through my other videos. I've got many more videos on new cars that are unreleased. Videos on cars that are modified. Videos on my own car. I've got a lot of stuff. Reviews. Just go through it, see if there's something you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.